Since it's Miss Anna Marie, guess what? Today, I'm turning into a chef, and we are going to cook together. I have something fun. We've been talking about ants. We're going to be talking about butterflies, worms, walking stick bugs, because we're talking about bugs and insects. Today, we're going to make something most kids know about. It's called worms and dirt cups. So I'm going to show you you like. Miss Anna's favorite is Godiva. Oh, so yummy. We need worms. These ones are gummy worms. But again, we're going to talk about all the different ways you can make worms and dirt without gummy worms. Because this is the unhealthy way. There's a healthy way, semi-healthy way, and an unhealthy way. So let's keep going. We're also going to need for this fun cooking project, my favorite Oreos, and these ones are double stuff, but we're not going to use the middle, which is the white part, because we're making dirt. Is dirt white? And no, dirt is brown. So we're going to use the tops and the bottoms of our cookies, and we're going to take out the middle. Now, the fun part about Oreos, when you take them apart to cook with them, is if you're only using the bottoms and the tops, you can save the middle, and you can make a frosting for a cake. You can make some fun truffles with cake mix and the cookie middle, and you can stir it up and mix it together and ball them up into little balls and eat them. There's lots of fun things that you can do with the middle. You can even make an Oreo flavored cheesecake. Mm, so yummy. Anyways, so we need Oreo to make it look like it's liquid. For pudding, we use going to need our ingredient to get started. So here's how we're going to do this. Miss Anna Marie is going to open up our package of pudding. Before I get started crushing my Oreos, I want you to see what I mean by a powder. Is our powder so unexpected? Let me get one. Like that. Now, when I pour it, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Again, it's not a liquid. It's a powder, which means it's a solid. So liquid is like the milk. Powder is a solid. Ready? I'll show you. See it? It's a powder that you pour down into your bowl. See that? It might happen when we pour the milk into our powder. Okay? While you're doing that, I'm going to grab our, take our Oreo. We have a bottom and a top and a middle. And we're going to take our Oreos apart. And then we're going to just keep the cookie part and we're going to separate it from the middle. Now, I'm going to grab a adult help is not safe. And we want to make sure that you're safe in the kitchen. Okay? So you take your knife. And when you slide off, you could get hurt. And we don't want that. So away from your body. And there we go. Middle's off. Now I have two cookies. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep opening my cookies. Take our cookies. We're going to crush them into what looks like dirt. Isn't that fun and exciting? Miss Anna Marie loves making worms and dirt. You know, when my boys were little, they enjoyed making this too because they enjoyed eating it when they were done cooking it. A lot of times when we cook something, we enjoy to eat it when we're done. Cooking in the kitchen is so much fun because you get to taste what you make and you get to experiment. You can try different seasonings when you make something new. You can take your recipes and change it a little bit and then it becomes something you created. Miss Anna loves to cook. Okay, friends. So, I have enough Oreos and cookies, okay? So then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those cookies inside of another bowl. Now, one of my favorite things to do is to find something to crush them with. You can use a bag and a rolling pin. You can use a bag and a wooden spoon. 
spoon and pound it until they're like powder too. Anyone want to take a smart guess? Kind of looks like a steering wheel. Actually goes to Miss Anna's shaker cup where I make my smoothies. So it's got a little, yep, you got it. Fingers and make them like claws. Pinch, pinch. And you can take your cookie and you can crush it into lots of little teeny tiny pieces. And I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. And again, they don't, it all depends on how you like it. You can try it different ways to see which way you like it best. A lot of times we don't know which way we like something until we try it the way you like it. And again, you can try it different ways to see which way you think is best, okay? All right. I like to take a little bit of my cookies and put it at the bottom of my cup. And then I put um, my pudding in there. Here are my cookies. Can you see them? So they're kind of chunky, because that's how I like my cookies. I like them kind of crunchy and chunky, okay? I don't like them super soft and powdery, okay? So then I take my little bowl, and I put some cookies at the bottom. I'm gonna wash my hands before I get started with the dirt, I mean the, the pudding. Anna Marie cooks. She usually throws it over her shoulder like that because that's just how I was taught. My Nana used to always have a towel and an apron when she cooked. Of how we cook. Now at school, when we used to do Fun Friday and do lots of cooking projects, we would tell you all the time about the recipe because it's box. So here's the front of our box. Here's the side of our box and the back of our box. Hey, kind of like our storybooks. There's a front, a side spine, and a back. On the back of a book, it tells you a preview of this. Okay, turn your listening ears on. Put your voice at a number one, which is a quiet mouth. Nice job, now you're ready. Thumbs up. All right, let's get started. It says, five minute pudding. Directions, beet pudding mix, and two cups for you to eat as a special treat. Hmm, but do we eat our unhealthy treats before or after our meals? I like my dessert, but that's not always the best choice. Let's find out what else it says. Then you refrigerate, refrigerate five minutes to set properly. You can leave it on your counter or you can put it in your refrigerator and you have a yummy treat ready to go. All right, I'm going to put down my box so we can get started on our pudding. now. Remember, I told you to take a powder and make it a liquid, which is a soft set, which means it's going to be kind of hard, but not liquidy. We need our handy dandy milk. So I'm going to pour it into my bowl. Now I need one more. Sometimes with this part, you might use a small problem. You just get a towel or a washcloth with a little bit of soap and clean it up so your counters or your floor are nice and clean. I wear an apron so I don't spill it on my body because sometimes when we spill, that happens. Okay, now my favorite part about making pudding is using my whisk to stir it up and take it from a liquid to a soft set. Now I put my powder and my milk together and I'm going to slowly whisk it together. So that my powder mixes into my milk and I don't have any chunks. You can make little teeny tiny circles or you can make big circles. See my arm moving? That's a big circle. A little circle, you just see more of the front part of my arm. And a big circle, you see my whole arm moving. That's the difference in our muscles. When we do small circles, we are using more of our small muscles. When we make big circles, we're using. All right. It's almost done. You guys ready to take a look? I'm excited. You're gonna get to see it as I pour it over my cookies, okay? Okay, now, if you're anything like Miss Anna Marie, one of my other favorite parts is to lick the whisk. 
but I'm not going to do it on TV today. That would be unexpected. Sometimes our mommies let us and sometimes they don't. And that's okay. That's a small problem. If you get upset, you can take a break. If it makes you feel sad because they said no, that's okay. Sometimes they're going to tell us no. When I was a little girl, my mom didn't always tell me yes. Sometimes she told me no. And it was for my own good. I have my bowl of cookies and my pudding. And I'm going to pour it. Now look at what it does. It makes a thick liquid. And I'm pouring it into my cup. Do you see that? Can you see it? Now I've got pudding in there. And guess what? I'm going to take some more of those cookies. And I'm going to put them right on top. Because when you mix water and wash my hands, and there's that handy dandy towel. That's why my mom and my Nana always taught me to have my towel close by. So back to my shoulder it goes. All right, now for the best part ever. Are you ready? This is where we get to put on our worms. Now remember, a worm can be anything. It can be an actual gummy worm, but it can also be Cheerios. It could be Fruit Loops. Cheerios and Fruit Loops are little round teeny tiny circle cereals and you can string them together. I'm going to post a, a picture that Miss Stephanie did so you can see what it might look like. But are you guys ready to stick on our worms? Now my favorite part is worms usually hide inside the dirt. Now at school you see them come out in springtime when our flowers begin to bloom and that's important because worms are really good for our garden. They eat the things that don't belong there and they keep our soil fresh. Okay, are you ready? I have two worms, one red and one yellow, and I'm going to stick them in my dirt. Can you guys see that? And there you go, voila, worms and dirt. Now, I'm gonna let it sit on my counter for five minutes. Don't forget to set your timer, five minutes, and then you can eat your worms and your dirt. I hope you guys had a great time cooking today with Miss Anna Marie. I certainly enjoy cooking with you. And I hope.